Hey everyone, it's Ashley and today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve curls using a flat iron and I did not use a wand or anything. This whole look was achieved using so without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. I'm starting off by finger detangling to ensure there are no knots or tangles. And now I've separated my hair into two sections, so basically half and half. Now I'm pulling the half that I will be working on over my shoulder and brushing it. This is a run of the mill brush. I believe I got it from Walmart or Sally's Beauty Supply Store, but I'm just sectioning my hair and tossing the rest in the back. You can take however big of a section or a piece that you would like. This is just what I decided to start off with. So the flat iron that I will be using is the Remington Diamond Ceramic Shine 1 half inch flat iron. It has a rounded barrel so this will give you those big bouncy voluminous curls and as you can see with my technique you're going to need a rounded barrel so that you can slide the hair through. So as far as the technique is concerned you're going to go underneath the hair as though you're straightening it. You're going to twist the flat iron or straightener away from your face. Turn it 360 degrees until the piece of hair is poking out of the flat iron away from your face. Then gently slide the straightener all the way down to the very end. And once you finish, you're going to have a very tight ringlet curl, which you can toss in the back or keep on your shoulder and begin working on the next piece of hair. So again, you're going to clamp the hair going underneath as though you are about to straighten it. Twist the flat iron away from your face. Turn it 360 degrees until the end of the piece of hair is poking out of the flat iron away from your face. So you're wrapping the hair around the flat iron and then you're sliding it all the way down, sliding the straightener all the way down. So that is the technique. You can twist it even more if you would like, as you see me doing right now. That is just going to make the curl even tighter. But in the end, the result is still going to be the same. The method is clamp, twist, and slide. So now I am showing you the curls that I have achieved thus far. And you can pull these curls apart. They are so long lasting, you really don't have to worry about them dropping. And now I'm just going to fast forward through this section of my hair so that you can see in real time how it looks when you are curling your hair with a flat iron. By the way, if you are curious on how I achieved this custom color or created this custom wig using Eunice.com Malaysian Body Wave Hair. You can click the little I at the top of the screen that's called the cards and I will have the video linked in the cards or you can expand the description box down below and I will have the direct link to the full tutorial on how I colored this hair and made this wig. And for those of you confused about the direction, I show you right now what it looks like to curl it the opposite way of the way that I'm curling it. And as you can see, it doesn't fall like the rest of the hair does. So I'm showing you if you mess up, how you can just go back and curl it in the opposite direction, the direction that I've been curling it throughout the tutorial. And because it's a flat iron, it'll take the curl just like that.
Now I'm going to show you how I achieve this curl or bump in my bang. I like to use my flat iron, take a section of my bang, a small section, and flat iron the hair upwards. So I'm just going straight up. It naturally creates this dent, bend, or curl in the hair on its own. Going straight up is also going to add that volume in the bang so it has that lifted effect at the very front. So again, I'm taking an even larger section this time and I'm just going straight up. Now I'm not flat ironing the hair up. I'm just letting it run its course by going up and slightly twisting my wrist so that it curves the hair and it ends up giving me that bump in my bang. So moving on to the other side, you're still going to apply the same technique. I know it can get a little confusing when it comes to whether or not you should use the same direction, but you're just going to, again, go underneath the hair as though you're about to straighten it, twist the flat iron, and slide it down. I've curled both sections from back to front and I'm taking my brush and going through the curls. These are so long lasting, you do not have to worry about them falling. This is just going to give them that glamorous, superstar, voluminous look that you're going for. So now I'm just running my fingers through, styling it, using my fingers and judging the hair. But as you can see, it has so much body, so much volume and so much movement. I absolutely love these flat iron curls. Okay, that concludes my flat iron tutorial. Hopefully you guys understood the technique and really learned how to achieve these voluminous, long-lasting flat iron curls. All of the links will be down in the description box below, so make sure you expand that. I also have a coupon code down there, so make sure you utilize that. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys really learned how to curl your hair with a flat iron. The results are amazing. So, until next time, stay beautiful. I love you. Bye. Mwah.